After arriving back from the World Economic Forum in Switzerland, Prime Minister Peter O'Neill got down to business, addressing members of the Business Council at the annual Back to Business Breakfast. Mr O'Neill acknowledged the difficult situation facing the country, especially in regards to issues affecting business, issues which include the lack of access to foreign currency, which has cost jobs in various sectors, especially over the last 18 months. Our government is working with uh, our bilateral partners. Uh, both World Bank and ADB has already uh, shown support of up to 300 million US dollars each to support in uh, availability of funding to PNG for budget support, which will uh, mean that the funds will be used to uh, make more currency available for, for the banks to utilize. And we are also expanding uh, our interest in, in the uh, issuing of the government bond. Despite these challenges, the Prime Minister is optimistic, especially at a time when the eyes of APEC economies will be on PNG as the country hosts APEC this year. According to the Prime Minister, the government is doing all it can to make APEC a success. One way is increasing efforts to broaden the economic base of the country, beginning with an increasing focus on the renewable sector. We don't want to be overly dependent on the mineral sector, oil and gas sector. We want to make sure that we address the issues around agriculture, fisheries, tourism, and other areas that has got great potential in this country. We must get the balance right between developing our oil and gas reserves and developing our other sectors of the economy. In light of challenges that remain, the Prime Minister has called on business to work together with government in various capacities, but particularly through public-private partnerships. We look forward to uh, working with you over the uh, next few years. It's going to be challenging, but I think we are slowly turning the corner. We have to be positive about our country and ourselves. If we are not positive, nobody else will be. You have to believe that our country has got a bright future, bright opportunity. And we can only achieve that by working together. President of the Business Council of PNG, Robert Nilkare, also spoke of the need for partnership between both the public and private sectors. He said despite different views on a number of issues, it was now time for all stakeholders to work for the greater benefit of Papua New Guinea. These complex issues businesses face must be presented in a constructive manner so as to discuss with government on appropriate interventions to apply. This is exactly what our organisation undertook last year when we published our business priorities report for the next five years. Gone are the days where business and government are separate pillars of development. We are Team PNG, and therefore finding the solution is a collective effort, and being the solution is a partnership. This morning's event was the first official engagement for Greg Pawson, Kinabank's CEO and Managing Director. Mr Pawson also provided an overview of their projections of the economy over the next 11 months. The government's continued to take a relatively cautious approach to fiscal management in 2018, keeping the fiscal deficit to GDP ratio at 2.5 per cent. Our house view at Kina Bank is largely in line with official forecasts for 2018 at 2.4 per cent growth, slightly higher as a result of the APEC event later this year. It goes without saying, and Robert mentioned it, that the key challenges for the country remains diversification of the economy to ensure economic and job opportunities extend to the broader population and buffer the country against the volatility of commodity markets. According to Mr Pawson, there are areas that PNG can take the lead in on a global level, and he alluded to some advancements by Kina as an example. The financial services sector is a leading example of what is possible in this space. At Kina Bank, our vision is to become the most dynamic, progressive, and accessible financial services company in Papua New Guinea, that our customers and communities are empowered to have financial independence and security. This aspiration for us is underpinned by technology and innovation. Our digital strategy is comprehensive, and we have and are continuing to invest in new products and services that will be distributed digitally, 